Hi, thanks for tuning into the Imagination Economy. We shot a bunch of videos while we were down at South by Southwest and we want you to watch them. We saw a bunch of startups from Canada and the United States. We met some really interesting researchers and we did some interviews with them. If you don't know what South by Southwest is, it's this huge conference that takes place in Austin. There's uh, big concerts that take place. There's large exhibits taking place in the exhibit hall. Um, there's great panel talks and there's a lot of networking and, and just a lot of fun is had. It combines technology, film and music all in one week in Austin and it's, it's a fantastic experience experience and here's some of the interviews that we shot. So uh, I'm here at South by Southwest and I'm here with, uh, now I get, I'm going to get you to say the name so I don't get it wrong. It's Genevieve? Genevieve Azalin. Genevieve. So uh, Genevieve, uh, you have a company, it's called People Connect. Tell us what People Connect is and what it does. So we're here, we're launching the very first virtual smartphone. So what we mean by that is we literally build your phone in the cloud and then you can access and use your smartphone from any web enabled device. All you have to do is download People Connect on your phone and then you're ready to go. And you better tell the URL right now. PeopleConnect.mobi, and that's spelled PPLConnect.mobi. And where are you based? You're based in Montreal, Canada, is that right? We're based in Montreal, that's right. How did you end up in Montreal? Tell me the story about why you, why you wanted to start a tech company in Montreal. Well, myself and my co-founder are from Montreal originally. It's an amazing city, so we really wanted to stay in Montreal. We also felt that the vibe was right right now. The tech scene is expanding in Montreal, and so there's more and more interest in that space. So uh, Montreal, I mean, it's obviously really well known for so many things. A great jazz festival, great comedy festival, great shopping. Uh, good food. Um, so how important do you think, you're talking about a burgeoning tech sector growing in Montreal, how important is the creativity and the imagination of the, of the city to the growth of the tech sector? I feel like Montreal is a very unique place in many ways, like you mentioned from design, fashion, food, it just attracts a very eclectic bunch of people and that creates creativity in and of itself. And right now that scene is expanding into technology, which is great. So there's Notman House, which is uh, sort of the hub of where everything is happening. The International Startup Festival as well, which started a few years back and has been growing momentum and attracting international spokespeople to Montreal. So I think it's, it's the beginning. There's just so many things happening. What do you think Montreal could do better? Um, I think um, one of the things in Montreal is that we kind of tend to think local and I think it's part of our culture as well and so um, what I like is thinking of ideas that really have an, uh, an impact globally and so I think we could really work on having bold ideas that, that reach people everywhere. So you're at South by Southwest, have you been before? I have, funny enough, I came three years ago for the music festival, I'm a music fan, and now I'm back for interactive, and we're actually here because we're launching um, the People Connect Virtual Smartphone Alpha, so this is a huge milestone for us. We're here unveiling our product for the first time, getting user feedback right, like right here from the, the people that will be using it in the future, so it's awesome. So um, tell us a little bit about the, the finances of your company. When you're getting started, how do you fund your company? So there's a couple of options that you can go when you're starting a company. What's really great in Canada is that we have even more options because the government and there's various private funds as well that look to fund innovation. So what we did, we looked at the different options we had and we decided for the early seed stage to go through the various competitions and we were lucky. We won the Canada Media Fund, the Spin Master Innovation Fund, which named us one of Canada's most innovative new startups. We also won a grant for innovation from the Finance Minister of Quebec. So we kind of started bringing all of these things in to, to fund our first round without losing any equity. How many people are working with you right now? Our in-house team is eight people, and we also have a couple of key partners that we're working with since our solution is quite large, where we're creating a virtual smartphone. So there's a lot of different components to do. We also have a couple of key partners. Where do you think is Canada's smartest city? That's a hard question. Um, well, I guess I'm biased for Montreal, and Montreal is the scene I know best. I know Toronto has an awesome scene. My partner and I often go to Toronto just because there's so many things happening in that sector. Haven't been to Vancouver yet, but I'd love to, so... I, I guess for a biased perspective, I'll say Montreal. It's Victoria, British Columbia. Sleepy little Victoria. Do you know where uh, Canada's most romantic city is? Coming from Montreal, do you know where Canada's most romantic city is? Quebec City? No, it's Victoria, British Columbia. It's also the most fittest and uh, the most creative, except Ottawa won most creative last year. But I was going to guess whatever question you asked me next was Victoria, the answer. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, something like the best island in the North Americas or something else like that. Well, really, enjoy South by Southwest and good luck with the launch. And thanks for taking the time to talk to us. So we hope you enjoyed that interview. Um, we're from Victoria, British Columbia. We call it the Imagination Economy because our city is made up of great creative people that are doing cool stuff. Come by and visit sometime, have some craft beer, check out some live music, or join a tech company. It's a great place. We put a URL down below, theimaginationeconomy.com. Check us out, and thanks for watching.